Happy Tuesday, Print Fam. My name is Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. Today, I'm working on some samples. This morning had BNI. If you don't know what that is, check out what BNI is. Um, just finished up the artwork. It is almost 11. The artwork they provided didn't have any bleeds or anything, and they want them full bleed. Go figure. So, printing from samples sounds like the first batch just finished, and then I need to swap out the paper. They wanted to go with this Mohawk. Let's see, it's a 120 pound cover. Um, coated glossy. So, everyday digital. So, we gotta swap that in to do the test samples. These first pages are just on a 100 pound text weight. So we're gonna get these cut. They're gonna be eight and a half by 11s. The other ones are 12 by 18 that will be cut down to 11 by 17, folded in half. Um, so far, I've convinced them not to saddle stitch anything. Hopefully it stays that way when I go talk to them later today. Samples are done. Um, they were not lined up properly. And I was like, crap, I'm gonna have to go modify the artwork. Instead, I was like, oh, well, that's what I thought. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to modify, modify the artwork. I had a few prints that would not read the barcode or the registration mark because the print extended past it and it was black, so it couldn't see it. So I ran those without the barcode and without the registration mark on the Duplo turned on. Let me show you what I mean. So you can have it read the barcode and read the registration mark, which I don't have any to show you because I already cut them on. But in essence, it puts a barcode that this thing can scan so that it knows, hey, what job to pull up, and then a registration mark so that it knows if there's any skew that it needs to adjust for. And turned it off to print those, and they were, or cut the two that it couldn't read, and they were perfect. So I was like, well, maybe I'll try the other ones without the registration mark and barcode. Sure enough, ran through without the registration mark and barcode, and they were perfect. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I have to look into it but in reality, it doesn't really matter because they worked. So I have a sample for me based off of Dan with just a printer. I made myself a proof as well so that when they approve it, I have my own to verify it against. I do think they're gonna have me change a few things. Um, like one of their logos I feel is too high and on one of the things, their address is right at the bottom. So it almost, get, get, almost gets cut off, but not quite. So we're gonna get these ready. I've got a bunch of other errands to do. I've gotta drop off a laptop, some shirts, go to the post office, drop off some graduation announcements, drop off some business cards magnet, business card magnets, not business card, car magnets. It's 11.30, my appointment with them is at 2.30. Um, Bob has a couple of things that I need to get done. Um, that I have to get done today, whether I do it now or later, I don't know. I need to see what time all these people can meet. So the next little bit is errand time. Bob just delivered some good and bad news. We might have to produce 250 yard signs by next Friday. They haven't been designed. We gotta order all this stuff in. Definitely don't have enough media to print them. Wish I didn't have to apply them. I do have a system now, so at least that's better. But it's not fun. Keep it posted if that happens. So far, from my math, it's about a two thousand dollar job, not quite, and it's gonna cost me a lot in just the raw media and a lot to print it. Ooh. Okay, off to run my errands. See you in a bit. Well, for you, it's gonna be like two seconds. But you know what I mean.
back from the errands. I was not able to deliver, to deliver the invites because the guy didn't answer his phone, but I got the other things done, dropped off the laptop, dropped off the car magnets, dropped off the shirts. He paid me with cash, so that's always good. Probably should take that out of my pocket. Don't look in my drawer. Just kidding. Um, dropped off the sample prints. He was super happy with them. So that makes me relieved. And at this point, we're not doing any saddle stitch stuff. So I have escaped that dilemma for the time being. Um, he's gonna do some artwork corrections. I offered to do it for him. He said he has a guy, so we'll see. Hopefully I can talk to that guy and be like, yo, add the bleeds, <laughs> because he didn't, and I had to modify stuff. So hopefully we can get that all worked out and he'll buy a bunch of stuff. So hopefully thousands of copies like he has talked about. I've got some tri-folds tri that I'm working on. Um, that one, I do need to figure out how to fold and the right way to fold it. Um, they want to do it on 100 pound glossy text, so I need to be able to fold it nice. Got a meeting with a guy tomorrow that hopefully he can answer some questions for me or have some suggestions. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I do still have some prints that I got to get done for Bob for him to deliver tomorrow. I'll probably end up postponing that until tomorrow morning first thing, just because... Um, it's my daughter's birthday. My youngest, or not my youngest, my oldest is nine today, which I can't believe I've been married 10 years and have a nine year old and it's crazy. So, gotta get a few more things done and I'll check back in. All right, I decided against my better judgment, we're gonna run the HP Latex. So let's get the magnet media unloaded and the prime gloss installed. I do have the GoPro. So let's time lapse it. So I loaded up some banner media and started printing it and I didn't extend it out of the chamber and because it's cut jagged and funny and not straight, it caught and started lifting up so I could hear it scratching as the print carriage went by. And it hadn't scratched where it was printing, but it was scratching on the front end. So I tried to open it, but I smeared it with my knuckles. I cleaned it off but I'll show you what that looks like here. So just a little friendly reminder, make sure you extend it out so that this edge doesn't get caught up there. Because when I got started, it's dry now because it went through the chamber, but there's my knuckle. I'll do it just like that. It had a boo-boo. I was sucking it back in and checking the skew and it buckled again and the carriage popped out. But I have to restart the machine. Wah! So, anyway, you turn the machine off. Hold it down. Now that it's off, Push this over. Fix my stupid media. Lift up the handle. five to ten minutes.
All right, Prim Fam, it has suddenly become two o'clock. Happy two o'clock club. You my stickers in the description. This is why, against my better judgment, I said I was gonna run the latex because I knew if I did it, I was gonna stay up a long time. But I got Bob's little sticker order, Bob's other tiny sticker order, Bob's decal order done, Bob's banner order done. I think that was it. So, craziness going on. But glad I could get it done because technically the the decals that we put the transfer tape on were due Monday. So, yes. Technically two days ago because now it's Wednesday. Technically. They were due Monday. Didn't get them done. But now they're done. Uh, the only other major large format thing that I need to get done is the black vinyl for Matt. And then finish up with some yard signs um, got a bunch of them already printed just need to apply them to the blanks that you can actually see right there um, we're also we should find out tomorrow if we're getting the 250 piece order which would be nice but not nice at the same time so we'll do tomorrow but other than that oh man we got more banners or more yard signs. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we got 25 more that we can print and apply tomorrow as well. So likely that's what I will be doing. I also am going to deliver these stickers um, I sold these on Facebook, um, which is an interesting story, so I'll tell you. The guy saw my I Survive stickers and said, hey, can you do custom stickers? And I said, yes. He asked, hey, I want three inch or four inch, what would that be? I said, how many do you want? He said, only like 20. So I said, well, my order, excuse me, my order minimum for custom stickers is $25. So I could do, I think I told him 40 of them. 40 of the four inch for 25 bucks. And he said, great. I said, great, that's $25. And then $5 to ship them to you because the name on here is a city that's like four hours, not four hours, 45 minutes away, 45 to an hour away. And he messaged me and said, well, I'm working at this exit. Could you meet me there? I'll pay you the $5 shipping plus an extra five bucks. And I was like, well, I don't know where that exit is. And so he told me, and it's actually two exits that way. But so is my customer that we outsourced the 15,000 stickers for. So I'm just going to go drop them off to them and drop these off. It's a double whammy. Plus he paid me extra. So kind of nice. Um, so we got that delivered tomorrow. We've got these signs. I think that's about it. I do have to figure out what I'm going to do about a folder because I got a bunch of jobs coming up and the bomb ultra fold will not cut it. But I don't really want to spend $27,000 on the Morgana, but I do. Guess we'll see. But we're gonna call it a night. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thanks, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. We've had a couple of videos that we've actually uploaded to Patreon that are secret videos. If you want to get access to those, then feel free to join, but no obligation. 
You can also use the Amazon affiliate link, buy stickers, business cards, custom orders, just watch the video, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. I would love, this is my, my secret hope, is next month we hit the one year mark for like quote unquote daily vlogging. I would love to hit a thousand subscribers by the one year mark. If you know anyone that would like to subscribe or would subscribe just to subscribe to get me there, that would be awesome, especially considering my birthday is shortly after that one year mark. So it would just be a fun little present for me. So, but no obligation. We just appreciate you being here. But as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Print fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.